What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Titans Online Easier Franchise. It is week two going against another division rival, the Colts. We of course have had uh, very good success against the Jags and the Colts, specifically because our roster has been built pretty nicely. You know, we've upgraded this team nicely and of course Cameron Batson, it's finally time for him to be up for bat, battiness, son. I I didn't mean to say it like that. Kevin Byard, it would be nice if he was up for a development up because uh, his, his age is getting there. You know, the, the regression's going to be there. It's not even about progression. It's about regression. And speaking of progression, I would like the channel to progress by seeing more likes and subs. Speaking of, I think we actually probably hit 47K subs today, which is just ridiculous. You guys are absolutely insane. So whether it's memeing for the, dream, for the dreaming of, uh, you know, subscribing and liking i i do appreciate it a ton you know whether we're joking about it or not it means a ton to me so thank you whether you're doing it today or you did it a long time ago or, you know you like every video or you don't i appreciate the sport and rashawn evans uh please could you not as much as I, don't get me wrong i love it right i love the big six but we've been seriously taking offers for him and we have a few offers on the board that we may take I'm debating it. I'm debating it. I can't remember. I think one of them was a first-round pick. I think we have to get rid of like a second or a third for a first-round pick, a decently projected one, which I think for a guy on a contract year looking for a lot of money might be the move. We'll see. Let me know if you guys think a top 15 pick is, is worth it. Jones, you're one of my favorite players on this defense. I want you to continue to be the one of my favorites. And there's, oh, my God. Yeah, I just got completely burned there. Look at Jonathan Jones, though. Almost caught him. Honestly, we got out of the way. Double failure by us on the user. It's going to lead to a 7-all game. And, uh-oh, Jesus, throw that ball quickly. Ronald Jones doing as much as he can. This is why he gets injured. He gets tossed into the freaking Sharks wearing, like, a blood suit. Is that even a thing, a blood suit? What the hell does that even mean? Bats him with a catch after Ronald Jones on a panic. And Ronald's not going to get it. We could use our go for in this situation, but we decided to punt it, and he's at his own 11. I, I, I should have really showed that punt. I really should have. Like that, that punt must have been good because that is a monster punt. Uh, from the 26-yard line, looking for somebody underneath. He's going to find uh, Hines going against Jayon Brown. Only going to get about four yards there to attack of Aloha going deep. Byard with a great coverage play. Guy looking for a flag. You better not get a flag because I need the ball back. From the eight now, first and ten, looking for someone open. Is that Batson? Batson, it's going to be a close call. Barely gets the feet down on Slay. Whew. It's a close one. Marietta with uh, Bazooka. Not going to have it very often, though. <laughs> Got rid of it instantly. Good job, us. Just great. Of course, he did trade for Chubb in the offseason, trading Darius Leonard, which I think is a great trade, by the way. I would, I would take that trade any day of the week. I feel pass rushers are by far the most important defenders you could have. Of course, a great corner goes a long way, too. Great defense there, ironically, from a corner. Uh, but I think pass rush. If you can get an elite pass rusher, GG. You know, GG. We're starting to have that with Harold Landry. I think uh, once he gets to 90 overall, things are going to go even better for us. That's just that's the scary part about this defense. It's going to get even better here underneath, look to Taylor Gabriel slipping away down to the two. As much as I want Batson's uh, scenario, of course, 100 yards or two catches for a touchdown. That's not super hard to get, right? Although I'm still going to force it into him for a touchdown. <laughs> Couldn't get it there, though. Second in goal from the two, looking for someone open. Back of the end zone, potentially. Yeah, his user was there. A little scary. Didn't want to go for it. Third and goal now from the six. Somebody open, please. Somebody. Mariota. Find someone, please. And how? Mariota, are you a freaking wizard? I don't know how he gets that there. Bats in with the touchdown reception. From the 29-yard line now, up by three. Uh, of course, that's a, a decent run considering there was nowhere to go. Six-yard gain. Heinz? Don't throw to Heinz, please. Throws it there, though. Jonathan Jones making up for his, uh, his drop from before. Jones slipping it. Could not get it, though. From the 26-yard line now, the offense is going to be moving inside. Nope. Outside. Nope. Maybe it is outside. Johnny Smith at a really bad animation. What the hell was that? He was open. My man was open, and he just couldn't get it. That's brutal to the outside. Yes. 
I'm not going to lie. If his guy didn't get a sack there, I think we would have just got baited. I, I'm pretty sure we're throwing the out route there. Speaking of out routes, how does he... he cooks. You're a beast. Because of that, we can go for it on fourth and three now. Back of the end zone. Batson. He would have had it. He would have had the scenario. He was open. I don't know who that was. He was open. Whoever it was, slot receiver was naked, and we just didn't see it. Great job by us. Great vision there. It's not only going to be a three-point game because we didn't go for the field goal, and we also were blind, so that's cool. Can't wait for it, even though I mentioned it, for someone to say, look at uh, five minutes and one second in the video. Uh, you know, I don't have to look at the defensive line for pass rush, so, you know, clearly I, I have superior vision to him. I literally just pointed out how easy of a read that was, and yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's it's a lot easier when you're watching. Trust me. I see it when I watch other people play. You think I'm better than these freaking, uh, like, Madden Mutt players? No. I don't know what a Madden Mutt player is. It's just literally Mutt. But I can see things they don't see in the moment, but doesn't make me better. And Batson already has his development. So what are you guys worried about, Okay. What are you worried about? We all see things. We are also all blind. So it doesn't matter. Three minutes in the second. If he can get a drive going. Oh, Campbell. Oh, I thought he was going to slip that away. If he can get a drive going and get points before half, well, we cannot. That would be a game changer. Ooh, barely missed on the inside. Uh-oh. Is that Braxton Miller? Don't let Braxton Miller do this, please. Or is it Anthony? It could be Anthony Miller, but it doesn't seem like the same player. I don't know why. I think it might be Anthony Miller, though. And oh, my Lord, Harold. It's not Harold. It's Armani Hooker. Jesus. Right off the edge. Free. Brought another blitz. Harold this time is on it. Going to throw it underneath. This de the defense, the secondary at least, the boundary guys are making it really easy on the pass rushers. And here's third and 14. He's going to be two yards short. Of course, he can go for it as well as we did. But he's going to take the points to only make it a seven-point game. And honestly, I don't even know if I really blame him. That's a decent play. Speaking of decent plays, this one, not one of them. Corey Davis into, like, triple. Of course, I feel like we don't take enough chances, and maybe it was worth it. Uh, but I think B was open if we would have waited. And, oh, my. That was kind of slick. Did you see the cut spin there as well? That would have been sick if we would have got the first on that. Either way, a manageable third and nine now. Looking for someone open. I'm not seeing it. Uh-oh. Maybe I am the lob pass dead eye. Batson for 74 yards. Of course, the scenario has already been had, but that doesn't mean he's still not an amazing player in the slot. He gets caught up with the user linebacker deep. And of course, with no pass rush in sight, Mariota delivers a perfect strike. Speaking of delivering a perfect strike, so did Rashad Evans. He's the only guy with hip power in this defense, so it's going to suck if we let him go. I don't know. This game's starting to make me not want to get rid of him. And look at that left side with Corey Davis. Saw it all the way. I don't know why his guy bailed that hard on it, but it basically looked like an edge rusher was freaking playing at the cornerback spot. So you knew I had to throw it right away, and luckily we did because he was, in fact, open. Predetermined then a little bit, but he was open. Made a play on it. And speaking of making a play on it, these DBs not allowing much more to happen and, you know, down 21 with how many points we scored that quickly. Not a bad onside kick attempt. You know, it was uh, his whole front versus our two players, one of them being a coverage linebacker with bad catching. So, you know, there's a decent chance they're going to recover it. But, unfortunately, Madden not super great for recovering onside kicks. Perfect throw. But Corey Davis decides that it's not enough to have a wide open lane. So, I don't know what to tell you. Ronald Jones slips it for the first down on third and two. Of course, at this point, we could pretty much coast to whatever we need to because the game is pretty much had with how defense played and just offense scoring tons of points before the half ended. You know, it was looking like a seven-point game, and then out of nowhere, it just we scored two touchdowns, and yeah, and here goes Ronald Jones busting free to the one, first and goal to the right. Ronald Jones, the freest rushing touchdown he's had as a Titan, probably as, you know, as an NFL player. And, uh, of course, he extends the lead to 28 points, which is quite a lot of points. And, oh, my viciousness. Kevin Byard with a monster. He's like, what do you mean only guy with hit power? In fairness, he didn't force a fumble, so you can hit as much as you want. If it's not a fumble, it's technically not a strong use of hit power. How does Hooker drop that? I do not know. We don't need it, but, of course, 
do I want it? Uh, the answer is yes, if you if you were unaware. Harold Landry with the sack. Third and 20 now from the 37. Jesus Christ, calm yourself, Harold. Back-to-back -back sacks. You know, had an okay game, but, you know, now that okay game turns into a really good one. And there goes Harold again on fourth and 30. How many yards do you want him to lose? If you could have had a fifth down, it would have been like fifth and 45, which I'm not going to lie. Seeing the word fifth down sounds disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, oh my lord, this is so gross. And the worst part is, I don't think they let me look back at this after the game for highlights, which is just smart. Why would you ever, every touchdown and every turnover, every sack, all of that crap, it needs to be a highlight no matter what. I don't understand their point system. I don't care what you want to call it. Touchdowns and turnovers, put it on the list. And I don't know what, you know, the file sizes are like, but 25-yard plus plays, put that on there. I don't know, okay? But just do something better than what you have. You know, you show one-yard plays. Oh, Ronald Jones lost his ability already. You show one-yard, five-yard runs, and then you don't show touchdowns like that? I'm disgusted. Ronald Jones slipping and almost made everyone disgusted because that was filthy. 39 now from the 10. Back in the end zone, and that's just a dart. I don't know how the hell 34 doesn't pick that, but that's pretty much going to be us when it comes to scoring. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's an official GG from the hand of Mariota. Let's see how locked down we could be. Obviously, we're going to be a little looser, somewhat, you know, a little bit, kind of, maybe not. <laughs> so if we can just play perfectly all the way through, I don't know if there's going to be many teams that could really beat us. Oh, my Lord, man. This is a really insane start to the season. I know we've had good starts before, but this is an insane start. I don't know if, if Cooks is playing a huge factor in it, but the ground game's insane. Passing has been great. Blocking has been better than normal. And then, of course, defense is right now. I don't know, I don't know how you play against our defense here. That was just a weird animation. He was all over it again, so... I don't know what to tell you. Come with a late blitz, and it works just absolutely works i haven't really been looking at the reads too much but overall it so far it just looks like really good coverage and i mean even that our guys almost recovered on when he was wide really good coverage and decent pressure here you know a pressure play you know play action look guys off the edges are coming coverage is really good outside of ours ironically and then here another quick throw look we left it but the speed to be able to recover you know it's it's unmatched in the league. It really is. And here, really good blocks. Third and ten. We convert to the wrong player. Try to go to uh, Cooks there, and Batson just robs the thing. But whatever gets the win, and speaking of whatever gets the win, TJ Logan pretty much seals it with that one. We end up winning the game 52-10. to 10. I know it's not going to go this perfectly for us throughout the season, but it still feels really good to start off the season like this. Corey Davis with three touchdowns. Batson with a ton of yards, two touchdowns. You know, he had the huge bomb after the fact, after he already had the scenario. You know, it was just a case of getting open, I suppose. Corey Davis with some really amazing plays for his touchdowns, and obviously here is the results going to start of Elman. Hopefully he gets some decent XP, finally. Finally becoming a threat. Really good uh, upgrade there. That is really nice. Anyways, though, that's pretty much going to be the video Tomorrow will be some sort of rebuild, I suppose. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Like the video if you did like it. Follow me on Twitter, Drumpy Care. And how far do you think we're going to go? Are we going to go 3 0? Are going to go 10 0? Are we going to go 2 1? Are we going to lose right away? I don't know. I This this team looks really good. So, anyways, hopefully, you come back for the next video. But until the next video, see ya!